It's time to continue in the dungeon scene with the texturing now. I'm going to work on the walkway now. And what I've done here is I've mirrored these pieces here. All right. And I've also arrayed them. So that I can get uh, as much textile density on that piece alone as possible. But I'm going to keep that on. And I've got this piece, and you can see we've got walkway metal on there. And uh, of course, just you know, this is unwrapped, and there are some seams on it, and this is unwrapped as well. And this this piece here is also mirrored. All right, so I've got just the half there, and then I've got these pieces, and they're mirrored as well. All right, so I should be all ready to go with that, and then that is a separate piece, and that's the walkway gate. Everything else is walkway metal. All right, so if I select this piece and this piece and this piece, and I go in, you can see there's the the unwrap for that. So I'm going to leave all those modifiers on, so that when I bring it into Substance Painter, it's going to look a little better. And I'm going to select the whole thing and create an FBX. Over here in Substance Painter, I'm going to switch this to OpenGL and select the walkway. And here it is. A little bit hard to see these pieces, but they're in there. We've got the two textures there, two texture sets or two materials. And I'll bake the mesh maps. Okay, cool. Now that that's done, I'm going to apply materials to this. All right, we're going to work on the metal first. And for that, I'm going to use the smart material that I had previously created, the metal dungeon. All right, we looked at this last time. Very simple smart material. And that's just gone on there. And it's got dirt and scratches and rust and, and everything. The textile density is a little bit low. So I'll have to bring this up to 2K. And hopefully it will look all right in the scene. So that piece is is good uh, the way it is, uh, you know, unless I wanted to make any changes, which I, I don't think I do. So let's come over to the walkway grate. I'm going to put that material on it as well. We'll start with that. And then I want to put a pattern on here. So I'm going to create a fill layer with a black mask and a fill. And go into the fill and the grayscale here. I'm going to come to my procedurals. And I'm going to type in grate. And this one comes with Substance Painter. I'll drop that on there. I'm going to increase the tiling all the way. And I think I'll bring that up to another maybe eight. So you start to see the pattern on there. And I'm going to bring the position. Well, we'll play with the position in a little bit. Let's come back to the main layer. And I'm going to drop that a little bit. We're going to increase the height, of course. I'll drop the roughness and increase the metallic. And now you can see the effect of that. Let's come back to the actual pattern and play with the position and do something like that. Now I'm going to up that to 2K. And now you can see the effect a little bit better. And that's basically what I'm going to be going for. All right. I'm just going to add on top of there. I'll call this the pattern. I'll add on top of there some dirt. So we'll create a fill, of color and roughness. Roughness up and a dark color. And I'll just use the dirt generator. We'll try that. If it's good enough, then I'm happy with that. I'm going to drop that down. I think that's okay for the effect that I, I want to go for in there. All right. So that is the walkway and I'm good. I, you know, you can put dust and dirt and, and all that grunge on it. I think I'll leave it at that. Let's come back to Blender and let's have a look at the shelf now. Okay, on the shelf I have this piece of wood. It's already unwrapped. It's got just that seam there for that and then nothing on the ends. And I've got this, I've got this mirrored so I can just 
unwrap one side and take as much textile density as possible. What I did is I came in here and I put seams on this, pretty straightforward. And this I just smart UV projected. I could have gone in a little bit carefully, but I didn't. I didn't want to do that. So uh, this is what I've got. I'm going to select it all, make an FBX, and bring it into Substance Painter. All right, there it is. Two materials, two texture sets. So bake the mesh maps at 2K. So on this metal here, smart materials, the dungeon smart material. And that comes in looking pretty good. It's even got some scratches on there, uh, which you really won't see unless you zoom right in. So I'll just have them there. They may catch a little bit of light. So that's fine for the metal. And we'll come over to the wood and smart materials. Wood, this one here and the grain is running the right way so that's great so all i want to do here is let's see we of course are we're going to add some dirt but maybe we'll do a roughness variation i don't i don't even know that i need a color variation but i might think about that maybe i'll just do color and uh actually i'll do a black mask and a fill and we'll come back here Maybe we'll look for a grunge. Let's see what triplanar looks like. Yeah, okay. No, we're not going to do that for sure. Let's come back to here and uh, sample something all right and we could do a we could do a couple of those if we wanted to maybe yeah let's just do another one okay call var one Let's see what we can get for this one. Is that the one I used? Let's try a triplanar, see what that looks like. Just a couple of spots like that, let's see. If I do that, Just a little bit of discoloration. Actually, what would be nice is maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that white sprinkles of uh, something like that. Yeah, just a little bit of dust or whatever on there. Um, all right, uh, I'll call that dust instead of color variation. Uh, we could do a roughness variation, mind you. So maybe I'll do one more and roughness bring that down so it's quite shiny there just to start it at that position and uh, not that a lot of black mask and maybe we'll try a different uh, technique let's use smart mask let's use dust maybe for this one uh, let's see I'm not sure there's going to be anything now I think we pretty much have to use a grunge let's come over here this time and I guess I will add a fill this and have less of an effect there actually what I want to do instead of that is I want to bring the roughness up there and just have something like that there all right but well, we are going to put some dirt on this is going to be roughness variation uh, another fill layer 
hollow and roughness in the usual way that I make dirt. Or we could use a smart mask. We could try that instead. A lot of black mask. Maybe we will try a smart masks. And I'll type in dirt. And we'll see what there is. What's this dirt dry leak? No, not really. Dirt soft edges. Edge dirty. Down there. Ground dirt sometimes looks good. Yeah, but I'm going to try, I think, the, uh, the dirt generator here because I want it there and I want it sort of a soft blend. And that looks pretty good to me. And there is my shelf. And of course, I'll have a few items on top of that. And uh, let's not forget to have a look at this with anti-aliasing on. Maybe a color profile, uh, which will give you an idea how it may look in a diff in different uh, lighting scenario here. And I'll switch something like that. All right, so the lighting will make a lot of difference in this. But there's my there's my shelf. Okay. Only thing I just want to check is if the wood is up at 2K. It's not. It won't make too much difference for that wood. There is one more thing that I could add in it, and and uh, that that's dirt, and that is uh, scratches. Um, and I think I will try that. Um, so uh, I'll do the same thing with the fill. And here I'm going to do color and height, and the color I'll I'll leave as white for now. I'll just drop the height down. And over here on that fill, I will search for scratches. And then you'll see them there. And I'll just reduce that just for a couple of nicks and stuff out of it. Uh, if I get rid of the color, it, it just may not. If I just all click there, it really won't be visible. Sometimes I'll put them as black. But I think I'm going to leave them like that. Just as little nicks out of it. And that's how it would it would look. All right, so that is that as well. Okay, so we are moving along with the asset texturing. We still have the, let's have a look at what we actually have to do yet. All right, I'm gonna turn everything back on here. And I've gotten rid of a couple of, of things that are extras. For example, the shelf, I'm just gonna copy the shelf over. This gate, I'm gonna copy over and, and the, and the, you know, the jail cell itself. Um, but what I need to, to texture next is going to be the gate, which is really all just metal. Uh, the chains, which is all metal. All right, so basically that's smart material. Maybe tweak them. Uh, the torches, I may do something else. I'll leave the fire or the candle or whatever I do for later on. But I may do a pattern in substance painter. We'll see. And uh, then we'll move on. We've got the sand and the bones and the gems potentially. And um, we got the walkway done. We've got this area here. This will be like a concrete. All right, so that should be pretty straightforward to do. The walls I was thinking I was going to do in Substance Designer. We're going to try that this time. Uh, if I keep this as sand, uh, I may do that in Substance Designer because I can, I can uh, scatter some rocks around on that pretty easily. Uh, we'll see and then the ceiling as well so like I say we are moving along with uh, with the texturing pretty good we do have the bottles left to do as well and any other modeling that I decide that I want to do all right so come on back next time I may go ahead and texture a couple of things and if I do I'll show them to you because it'll be pretty straightforward and uh, we'll leave the tentacles for later on because we'll probably do some kind of organic uh, texture for that and that will be a little bit different than stuff I usually do all right, cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're liking the series and are excited to see how it all turns out because I am too. All right, see you soon.